I was a happy kid in, in growing up. Um, I, was, I was a terrible student. Um, I flunked three grades before I got out of high school. And I, I flunked, I mean, I was put back. Uh, I made one of those up. Um, I had um, no understanding why I couldn't do better. I, 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 I was never told by my parents or by my teachers that I was stupid, uh, which I've heard other people with this condition have said, oh, I, I, I was told, my teachers used to tell me I was stupid. I never got that. I got this other thing, I wasn't applying myself. Um, but I knew I was stupid. I knew, I, I knew there was no other answer that I could come up with that was responsible for all these D's and F's. Um, you know, I, I can remember a vivid thing in the seventh grade where, where my mom said to me, we had these history quizzes every Friday in seventh grade, and, and I was tanking them terribly, and my mom said, I'm gonna prove to you that you, can, if, that you can do well on these history quizzes. It's a matter of application, and every day we're gonna spend an extra hour on history, and when that review quiz comes on Friday, you're gonna know everything, and you're gonna do just great. So that's what we did. For five days, she spent an hour with me after I finished all my other studying, went over my history. Friday morning before the test, we, we did a review of the whole thing. I went in, and I blew it, just like I always did. Maybe I did a beat or two better, but I basically tanked the test. And so I found a friend of mine who had gotten an A, and, and I said, so how long did you study for this? And he said, I didn't. I just glanced at it in the parking lot before school this morning. <laughs> well, I mean, what, what, what am I supposed to take from that? There's only one thing I, I can take from it, and that is that he's a lot smarter than me. Well, that wasn't the thing at all. That wasn't what it was at all. So I think that, that self-imposed um, diagnosis of stupidity that kids often put on themselves is, is something we want to work really hard to keep off them. Because once a child quits, once a child throws his hands up and says, or her hands up and says, I'm no good, I'm not smart, I'm just going to, I'm just, I'm destined to fail, then, then you have a whole range of other possibilities that include, you know, um, you know, pretty dangerous stuff like prison and, and things like that. Because I get a lot of mail from people who are, who are undiagnosed dyslexics who are now in prison because they were so angry because they couldn't keep up that they started to act out and they started to hang with bad people and they started to, to pull stuff and the next thing you know they were on the wrong trail. So, you know, what we as parents have to do is to, to get our children, if you, if you see your child isn't reading in the, reading up to this grade level in the fourth grade or something like that or the third grade, get your child tested. This is not a tough test. And once you know, once you know that, that a kid has a learning difference, um, then you've got a whole range of solutions available to you, including the one of constantly working on that kid's uh, self-image and finding those things that a child has that they do well, because everybody does something well. And if you find that and then make a big deal out of it and, and underwrite it in, in a big way, you know, it goes a long way toward stopping that from happening. It can be art, it can be skateboarding, it can be video games. In my case, it was, it was high school football. Uh, I was a great running back and, and you know, and I, I mean, I, well, I was good enough so my picture was in the paper a lot and I was written about a lot. And for me, that made a huge difference. I knew I was no good at anything else, but when I stepped on my campus, I was a big deal. And, and kids were coming up to me and wanting to know how I was going, you know, what was going to be like this Saturday or talking to me about last week's game. And it made a huge difference in, in the way I perceived myself. So that's, that's the secret. That's what you have to do. Because once you lose the child's um, sense of competition or once a child believe, it gives up on him or herself, then you got then you got problems.